Good morning, ladies, and welcome to Bible Study Tools. This is our first session on journaling, and my goal today is just to share with you some ideas about journaling. Now, many of you probably are like me and are already journaling, and uh, at the end of this, um, share your ideas and your thoughts about uh, what you're currently doing with your journaling. But uh, some of you may be new to journaling, so I just want to share some ideas and maybe get you started in journaling. Well, the first thing you're going to need is your Bible or a Bible uh, app on your phone or iPad or tablet. Um, my favorite um, Bibles, uh, I have a couple. And one is, this one is the New Living Translation um, Study Bible. Um, and But the other one I have that um, I like really is <clears throat> the Life Application uh, Study Bible. Um, and what I like about this one is that not only is it a study Bible, but in here there are um, life application tips. Uh, and this one is the NIV version. Uh, it doesn't really matter what version of the Bible um, that you use. Uh, there are thoughts on um, Bible versions, just like there are thoughts on, on journaling and how to do it. Um, my thought is a Bible that is easy to read. Um, I one word of caution is if you are going to use a Bible uh, for study, um, even though the message and the voice uh, translations are good versions, um, I would just caution maybe get uh, maybe NIV or a New Living Translation. Uh, if you're old school, some of you may like the King James Version. Uh, many people find the King James Version a difficult uh, version to read because of of the um, the English uh, that it uses, it is um, and quite honestly kind of difficult. Um, the other thing is you want to make your journaling fun, and one of the things I like to do is to have uh, a notebook or a journal pad. You can use anything you want. Um, you can get uh, you can get these at you know school's about to start. Um, composition notebook. Um, you can get all different types of composition notebooks. This one is kind of a cute one. I got, I've got i got some papers in here, but you can see it's kind of cute. Uh, it's already, um, but I like cute. Um, yeah, well, but you may may not like cute, but I do. Uh, I even have one that I kind of blinged up. This one is just a regular composition notebook. I kind of blinged it up, but that's just me. Um, or you can go to the store, like I said, and buy them already. You know, this is a cute cutesy one. So those are just some ideas. So a good um, version of the Bible that you like, um, that you are comfortable with, um, something to write in, something to write with. Um, the other thing, um, I didn't mention that earlier, is there are actually journaling Bibles. And this is what a journaling Bible looks like. There are lines in here. I don't know if with the glare you can see, but there are lines in here that I actually have written in there. And I had a conversation uh, not long ago with uh, someone close to me, and it got right in your Bible. Uh, this is almost like sacrilege. Well, I just want to release you, ladies. It is okay to write in your Bible. Uh, now, uh, one, another thing I want to recommend is to get you some index cards. Um, that you can write your scriptures on and we're going to talk in a later session about um, verse memorization and index cards are an easy way um, to help you memorize um, scripture because you can write down a verse and then you can carry your index card with you uh, <clears throat> this one is um, these are already had a little spiral tab on them and it makes it easy to, to uh, keep them organized um, <clears throat> Another thing is maybe some of you are like me who attended many um, Bible studies and you've got all these index cards. So what do you do with all of them? Um, and so that's kind of where I am right now. I've got all these index cards. I've got um, Bible study notes that I have. So one thing that I started this year is um, to kind of organize them. So I'm going to turn my back on you for just one second. I've got to turn around and get it. But I bought this little notebook. And uh, this is so I can start uh, organizing my index cards and um, my notes and Bible study notes all in one place. 
as a ready reference. Um, so those are just some quick ideas. Uh, I also included a, uh, a journal um, journaling uh, sheet uh, in this uh, blog so you can print it out and you can use that. So ladies, <coughs> journaling, again we want it to be fun and it, we don't want it to be so routine that you dread it. Um, and God wants fresh. He wants us to do something new and something different. And everything that we do, we want to bring glory and honor to Him. So if you're, you know, if this is new to you, start out with prayer. Ask, you know, ask God, what do you, what does He want for you that day? Uh, and many times that He will reveal a scripture to you. Write that down, pray over it, meditate on it, and and write it in your journal. And for me, journaling is. I just keep it simple. It's my thoughts for the day, the scripture that God has given me. And a lot of days it's just, I just pray. I just write out my prayer. So you can use the journaling sheet. Um, you can use just a plain notebook. Um, and one of the ladies that's part of this group, she uh, gave us a link to a group, a God's Girls journaling group. And on in that link, who would have thought? A God's Girl coloring book. So there you have it, ladies. Go out, have fun, make journaling fun, and have a wonderful day. Be blessed, and I'll see you uh, in about a week with our next session. So again, thank you for joining in, and have a wonderful day.